In my last video I talked about all the different types of gas heaters you can get from Modine and these are all unit heaters that are used for heating up spaces like workshops, garages, or warehouses like this for on-demand heat. So if you need to spend a certain amount of time in a place and heat it up quick, these are perfect for that as opposed to in-home heating which needs constant heat. So make sure you check out my other videos so you know exactly what you're looking for. And in this video, I'm going to show you an already installed Modine heater right up here, which is a hot dog series heater. And I'm just going to break down the components that are necessary for installation. So if you're looking to install one, you know exactly what you need to do in order to install it. So like I mentioned before, this is the hot dog series and it's powered by gas. So it's hanging from the ceiling with rods and it's connected directly to the frame. But when you're looking to install yours, there's a ton of mounting options uh, that you can look through with brackets and different hangers that you have to choose for the correct application for whatever you're installing for. And this, every heater has to be at least one inch cleared from the ceiling. And this is, this has like two feet, so this is perfectly fine. Make sure there's at least 18 inches of clearance behind the heater for gas, electrical, duct, and fan access. So the length of the gas line from the meter to the heater and this is the pipeline right here, will determine your pipe size that's necessary for keeping proper pressure for the system. You can also connect a flexible gas line right outside of the heater to the shutoff valve, and that would probably be better than the install we have right here. So your gas line goes through a pre-punctured hole in the side of the unit, and then it runs to your combination gas valve, which is this metal part right here. So after you have that connected, all you have to do is connect your electrical components. So you just locate your, uh, your voltage line, your ground wire, and everything else, and then you connect that to the voltage in the unit or wherever you're installing this in, say, your workshop or garage or whatever. You could also bring in low voltage thermostat wiring and connect them right here to your control board. And the control board is right down here on this unit. And then run all the wiring down through this little hole right here below the gas line. And that's only an option that you want to do if you want to control the heat in a room through a thermostat. So after it's installed and the gas line is in and all the electric components are plugged in, you can install your gas flue vent, which we have right here on the side. It's that metal cylinder up there. And this is necessary because since this is burning gas, there ha it has flue gases that need to get out of your building or garage or wherever. So we're in a warehouse. All we did was cut a hole through the ceiling and run the pipe up through and it, and it gets the gases out. So it shouldn't be too hard. If you have a garage, you can just flue it right above uh, the unit. If anyone has experience installing one of these, I'd like to hear your experience below. Maybe you have some tips you can share with other people. Uh, so just comment in the section below. And if you like the video, then subscribe because we're coming out a lot more videos like this where we cover new products all the time. And remember to just like the video as well.